anti-LGBTQ plus bills could have enormous impact on historically black colleges and universities and black LGBTQ plus community. The recent spate of legislation targeting LGBTQ identities is threatening to negate some, pro some of the progress at historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs, the progress they have made in providing safe spaces for members of the community. Over the past decade in particular, HBCUs have made a concerted effort to address the community's concerns, from establishing LGBTQ plus centers on campus to changing admissions policies to allow transgender students to enroll. But now some fear new legislation could have a chilling effect on that progress. According to HRC, more than 340 anti-LGBTQ plus laws have been introduced in state legislatures this year, with 150 specifically restricting the rights of transgender people. These laws range from limiting health care for transgender people to bathroom bans to prohibiting diversity, equity, and inclusion programs on campuses. Many of these laws have been passed in states home to HBCUs, which are mostly in the South. Today, 19 HBCUs have land grant status under an 1890 Morrell Act. These HBCUs, as well as public HBCUs, receive some state funding, though it's not equal in amounts as predominantly white schools, white state schools get. Still, with the spread of anti-LGBTQ plus legislation, non-compliance with these laws means these colleges and universities could lose their state funding. I, I said white colleges. I said I should have said while other state colleges are doing it. So I certainly didn't mean that. Um, but this is already happening in Florida. Ron DeSantis has banned uh, or is attempting to ban the uh, diversity and inclusion programs, a women's history study program, or no, African-American studies okay. program. My bad. And... Um, and that's happening. And we've talked with uh, teachers at various colleges, ranging from community college up to some universities that have explicitly or implicitly been threatened with their jobs if they teach certain subjects in a certain light. And obviously, the governor is appointing uh, like-minded people to presidencies of universities sure. with no real um, accountability to uh, anybody for his appointment. So this is this is a real thing. It's getting bad, and it's getting very bad very quickly. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the trickiness around states' rights, right? The when states uh, are traditionally and historically uh, bigoted, come from a really strong biased background. Whenever they are advocating for their own right to be able to pass laws and rule, um, they become incredibly toxic, right? And they're they're doing things that are just terrible. And, and typically we've seen a lot of these states mostly coming from the South that are invoking these types of uh, prejudicial uh, rulings. This is why the Equality Act, and I'm going to say this several times, I think, today in today's program, mm -hmm. this is why the Equality Act at the federal level inoculates the entire country from the, the hate and bigotry that can come from states. And so we see this around abortion, we see this around LGBT rights, we see this around um, uh, race and equality, right? We see this in these conversations. Why? Because because some states are inherently in their history just bigoted and unable to create a place that's welcoming, that's diverse, and that's inclusive. And so the Equality Act needs to get passed, it needs to get passed in order to be able to protect us all in these states. You know, I, I'm curious, Orlando, you say that, and then and, and your words are so clear to me, and you're talking about Alabama and George McGovern, and uh, and uh, and you know, we're talking about Mississippi yeah, yeah. And, and other places, but did you ever think in the advocacy at SAVE, and your, your lifetime of advocacy in LGBT, that one of the states that you would be talking about would be Florida? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, um, we live sort of in this um, false sense of security in South Florida because it is a little bit purple down here, right? Less but so the rest the of the, less, yeah, less so recently, but yeah. the rest of the state is incredibly red, right? The, the, the rest of the state identifies with the South of the United States. It has a, a strong root in, in uh, that history. And so um, I'm no fool of thinking that Florida is in any way shielded from any of that, uh, that history as well. Yeah, because if you drive north in Florida, you see a very different kind of environment, for sure. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. 
Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.